Tails. Today we're making a drink. And it's syrupy and stuff. If you like <laughs> passion fruit, <laughs> you might like this drink. Good sell. Oh. <laughs> I was just blanking. <laughs> if you want to see him do more weird stuff, blank out a little bit more, probably lose time. It, it happens. Keep watching, right? We might pimp awesomedrinks.com while we're at it. It could happen. <laughs> we're going to probably do it right after this in five seconds. <laughs> So there you go! Alright, watch out for the falling ice. Help fund the Common Man Cocktails bar mat. We need to sell 50 to fund the project. Head over to awesomedrinks.com slash mat. Buy your mat, support the project, and be awesome. Tape up your nipples, because this is going to be a long episode! We're making the pieces of eight! Pieces of eight? Yes. There's only four things in here. I don't know! I can't help you with that. It's I'm just a loud American, it's just one of the people who's always not my fan. Yes. I don't um, do that. Pieces of eight. This is a BG Reynolds recipe. You'll have to ask Blair. I'm sure Blair's got a reason. Yep. Oh, look, it's on the back of this bottle. Oh, is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know right now. Uh, shake with ice cream on a tall glass. Uh, right here on top of this stuff. Recipe <laughs> featured at Hele Pele Tiki Bar in Portland, Oregon. HelePele.com. Hele Pele. Passion fruit. We're using BG Reynolds passion fruit. You can see uh, a weight challenge guy hugging a passion fruit. Yep. Passion fruit's awesome. Fluffy. He's a fluffy, fluffy guy. He's <laughs> showing passion towards the fruit. Oh, yes, right. That makes sense. He's hugging it because he's passionate. Yeah. Loving it. It's all positive vibes. Oh, I love the positive vibes. Oh, we probably didn't need to dirty that one. but. Well, I gave you that one so that you could do your lemon and lime squeezing. And this one I can put the... I'll use this one. Okay. You want to try this? Nope. Oh, yes, I'm going to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the recipe is three quarter li lemon juice, three quarter lime juice, one and a half BG Reynolds passion fruit syrup, and one and a half ounce of light Virgin Island rum. We're using from St. Croix the cruising. Cruising from St. Croix. I'll just cruising over pour this a little bit. For bruising. This is a lot of syrup, huh? One mm -hmm. and a half ounces yeah. of syrup. So for those that assume that in this episode we're going to be oh, look, using uh, an exotic ingredient, technically they're right because passion fruit's probably exotic. Uh, but we did have some concerns, and I want feedback. Question of the minute! If, I'm glad you put that do down. you guys get pissed off if I make a recipe that uses, like last week you used Fruitations Cranberry, uh, this time we're using BG Reynolds Passion Fruit, you can sub in your own Passion Fruit, whatever you have, make your own. Well, these are things you can get at awesomedrinks.com, so they're not totally exotic, because no, you ship exotic. international, too. Right. right. Yeah. And the argument I could see coming up from that would be, well, you might ship international, but it, that means I have to pay for shipping. And I, the way I worked it out is if I ship something, to Australia, it's gonna cost 30 to $40 to ship it. So you buy two bottles, that's $14 for fruitations, right? Or probably for about the same for these. Yeah. Uh, you could probably make yourself 30 something cocktails and you need vodka for that. Whoa. Mm -hmm. um, and then, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I was- Be impressed, that's I was, right. I was, I was highly distracting. Um, so the way I look at it- My face is all sticky now. Is if you were to buy alcohol overseas, in a lot of cases, it's highly expensive. Three quarters ounce of lemon. Three quarters ounce. If you, what? It's got a water. It's one water. ounce of lemon. Yeah, whatever. Um, so if you spend forty dollars, sixty dollars in order to buy two bottles of something that you can make thirty-five something cocktails out of, and you only have to buy one spirit, like vodka, could go with it. I don't like you. Um, <laughs> It's probably a cost savings as opposed to buying Grand Marier, which will probably cost you, you know, to make a Cosmo, for instance, probably cost you 60 or $70 overseas or 80 Or to make the Gleaming the Ice Cube. Right. Or any of those that, you know, when you have so many spirits, it costs a lot. So I have to supervise you because I know. I'm not. So, look how close you are. You don't really need that much more, just so you know. A little squeeze. Actually, lime juice isn't too bad. I, I can drink extra lime juice. That's really good right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> He said he could drink it, so make it happen. So the question is around all that jabber jab. Let's put it in the lemon juice. <laughs> is how about some ice there? Do you get big measure? Um, are you <laughs> are you okay with the fact that sometimes I use products like syrups, like the Royal Rose or the BG Reynolds or the Fruitations to make a cocktail? Does that limit you or something? Good question. But I think, I mean, I, I understand that, and I think people understand too, that you're also promoting products that you can make available to them. Right. So it's 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 exposing people to new products. You're uh, promoting your store also, which is always a good thing. And it's 
expanding the palate of the common man. That was it. Was is that make it not common man cocktails? And I my argument was common man cocktails is a state of mind. Yes. And the goal well, no, is. No, it's more so than those drinks that say go out and get like. Go make your own infusions. Right. And, yeah, like these weird you know, ingredients you've never heard of. Do some like, liquid nitrogen muddling of your basil. Right. Yeah. I, which looks really cool. Right. And I and I still think it would be cool to do that every now and then to, to I'm blow all people's about minds. The snake and, pour now. And, and to teach them stuff. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, Everything you do. Oh, it's I can't the fact make... that you can get the ingredients that yeah, makes it common. You, you can get the ingredients and you do it in common way style. I'm not sitting here with speed pours doing counts with tuxedos on. Unfortunately, I'm not at a bar yet someday. Common man, aka not bartender man. Right. So there you go. I think this is from like an episode ago. Mm, uh, you want this? Oh, Jesus! Ah, you did that just to <laughs> strike me with this. You, ah, it's still leaking down my shoulder blade. <laughs> See? Stuff like what we just did, that's where I see common man. But just because I use a syrup, I don't think that's a problem. But I want to know what other people think. Mm. And I know some people don't even make these recipes. They're just here for the show. Other people would like to expand their ideas. And using a fresh, new, you know, natural pomegranate, or uh, passion fruit juice in this case, I think is cool. Because right now all I had was feet. What are you doing? Put that down. You have no place Sorry. to go. Yeah, no, I don't really. Hmm. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, nobody really loves me. <laughs> Good idea. It's the drink is kind of thick. That's me. The hair? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My locks. Not as likely as me. <laughs> <laughs> My luscious locks. It's thick. Oh. It's got sour. It's got passion fruit. It's got passion fruit. You know what that reminds me of? There's yes, a, passion fruit. There's a Ben and Jerry's like Greek yogurt flavor. Really? It's like passion fruit pineapple or something. Really? It reminds me of this the the passion fruit syrup that's in there. <laughs> Mine's bigger than yours. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be at some point, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Relish in the moment, Derek. <laughs> you want another oh, question yeah? of the well, day? I'm sucking on yours. <laughs> <laughs> you make your own joke, huh? You want another question of the day? Uh, mm. Yeah, this is... <laughs> How do you feel about putting liquor in the freezer or fridge to make it go down more smoothly? Oh, that's not a good at. Question of the day. I think cold stuff doesn't taste as much. Right. Do you put your liquor in the freezer and what is your thoughts? Um, or even the refrigerator, I guess. Refrigerator. I mean, I'll do it sometimes if I know it's something I'm going to shake with ice and I'm going to try to chill anyway. But that's the problem. You'll figure this out yeah. as you read. I but <laughs> no, I, I understand there's problems. You're, the, the water is important. Right. So when you do that, the, you're not the, the, the dilution, dilution the is going to change because yeah. now the drink is colder than the ice or at the same temperature. The ice is just there as a, as a because it looks like it's got ice in it. Right. But you don't end up with the water. Now, if you add the water instead... I guess everything's okay because it yeah. doesn't have to be. You just get to get the dilution right, but the science typically is: hey, if you put ice in there and you swirl it around for thirty seconds, you're gonna get a little bit of water, which is yeah. gonna bring out the flavors. Which is why you put a little bit of water when you're tasting whiskeys right. or, or scotches or something like that. Tequila is good crushed juice. ice is a little bit different. This is, yeah. has a lot of surface area. It's gonna get really cold. Feel that it's like way colder than a normal That's cold. drink, right? <laughs> uh, With both hands, it's cold. But now it's soak. And the and the beauty of this is it's gonna dilute a little bit more than a, a normal drink, which is good because it's got a lot of acids. And everything, um, but it, once it hits that temperature, it's gonna pretty much lock in for a little bit. Yes, because that drink is cold. It is, and it makes it thicker because of the syrup. That yeah, this this drink, this is. It's I like this drink, drink, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. I like the tart and the sweet. Mix bring, it. bring it together. <coughs> oh yeah, did you put rum in here? It doesn't yeah. Taste like, okay. Yeah. I, mm, I, that's I didn't cheat. Ounce and a half. Okay, that's, that's pretty. That's an, oh. I didn't cheat on my rum. I'll cheat on my vodka, but not my rum. Just ask Eve. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Vive, hashtag cheat on your vodka. Hashtag, hashtag Octothorpe. 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 Um, Octothorpe. This drink is easy. It doesn't have a lot of alcohol. An ounce and a half, that's a light drink. Yeah. Good Especially for Especially given, given the size of the drink. It's, right. It's got lots of juices. When you have a whiskey sour, it's got two ounces of Jameson and it comes in a short, flat glass and there's yeah. about that much in it. Yeah. That's and a strong drink. This has much less on the, it has a lot of flavor. It's got a lot of juices, which are probably more healthy for a natural and good. Right. And then it has an it's actual It's got a lot product. of sugar. <laughs> what, what, what is the ingredient? I didn't look at the ingredient list. So it's sugar, sugar water, passion fruit concentrate, passion fruit. and guar gum, which is probably how come it's Thickling so thick. Agent, yeah. um, this tastes like the passion fruit I like. There are two mm. types of passion fruits, and I don't know if they're different types from different places, or they're just different seasons, or they're different... No, they're different types. Ripenesses. Okay, different types. There's a super, super, super sour that is so sour, it's... It almost, you can't swallow it, it's so sour. 
Um, well, they add sugar, so you're good. Yeah. Where then there's those that are the purpler ones that right. are are more sweet and they taste like like that lovely p passion flavor. I lose some of the passion fruit from the sour stuff because it's got that's completely that's ginger. Look at that. You know what's coming out right now? Ginger vinegar after vinegar. the sweetness. Oh yeah, the sweetness. <laughs> oh, that's a shrub, the homemade shrub that definitely yeah. Jen made. Yeah. We'll, and we'll do an episode on shrubs after I get a couple brands in. Nice. I probably two three brands I gotta work on, um, and. So I like the fact that this lets me enjoy passion fruit easily. Yes. Like you get the flavor, you get it's some balanced sour. sugar, but it's not overly sweet. It's not too sour. It's got the sweet tart thing going on. It and does. it works out really well. The thickness is a little bit weird to me. The the texture, I mean I like the flavor, I like the I like the sweet and the tart. I like I like it is definitely how, a thicker drink. Play. You really feel like you're drinking some syrup yeah. to, to a degree with this. You do. But it because it's got an ounce and a half of syrup in here. Yeah. But the, the thing that the reason that doesn't bother me is <laughs> having eaten passion fruit. Hmm. You ever you scoop out the passion fruit? I've never fruit? eaten a passion fruit. Ah, uh, see, the oh, passion, fruit. passion fruit. No, I oh, like mangoes point. though. I'm a big mango fan. But mangoes are have I like hate, a, don't like the texture of mangoes. So but they're like, like the a melon, mango. like in in their te oh, yeah. a little squishier passion than a melon, fruits? right? No, no, uh, mangoes. mangoes. Uh, passion no, fruit start hard. But. Passion fruit is like. It's hard like to explain. It's jelly. almost like phlegm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. It's like a jelly. You scoop weird. it out and it's you like a scoop. thick jelly with seeds in it. Not really selling it. No. no I'll it's, probably it's, try it at some it's point. It's actually but... quite gross looking, but yeah. it's really it, good. And <laughs> you can chew on the seed. It's very weird. It has a funny texture to it, but it reminds me closer to this. Like the thickness right. of this is Remind closer to what I would think of with passion fruit because right. of the way it sloshes around. Almost like an egg white. Like yes. the way it carries yeah, itself. Yeah, that's the consistency. Yeah. And that's pretty normal. So I'm okay with that. Uh, it's just, I like light drinks that have this flavor because I could drink them like I can have five of these. <laughs> I'll eat them anytime. <laughs> I'll save them. Um, I could drink that all day at the pool. I could see that, yeah. And without and getting then, drunk. But you would have a hangover the next day because of the sweetness. But there's a lot of, but I wouldn't have scurvy, so it's okay. Just, okay, yeah, fair enough. Just drink some water in between, you're good. Disease, I would say it's even a little bit more tart than it is sweet. It's Yeah, it's pretty tart. It gets you right here. There's a lot, I mean, there's an ounce and a half of citrus in there, which is quite a bit. I like this. It's good, though. I want to save that. Yeah, you should. I, you know where you can find the recipe. <laughs> it's on the bottle! Um, so, you can go to AustinDrinks.com to get it. If you say, you know what, Derek? I don't like the fact that you're pimping your stuff on your show. <coughs> I'll we use the wrong recipe. <coughs> Why? One and a half ounce light rum, yes. One and a half ounce passion fruit syrup, yes. One and a half ounces of lemon juice and a half ounce of lemon juice. I wonder why juice. he didn't make it different. Ah. I took it off his website. Because this has an extra half ounce of citrus in mm. total. That would be even sweeter. Or tarter. Yeah. Tarter. Tarter. <laughs> tarter. Maybe that's but why he changed a, it. A lot more lemon Oh, yeah, maybe. Juice you know what? He would be able to change his website before he'd be able to change the label. That's a good point. Uh, Fair enough. If you don't like the fact that you're like, oh, these guys are pimping their crap all the time, I don't care. Go to pgreynolds.com and buy it directly from him if you're in the Seattle area and you want to save on shipping. There you go. As long as you try it. I don't care if you don't like me pimping my stuff, then go out and buy it someplace else and say, screw you, Derek! I'm not falling for that crap! You know what the thing is, though? This show doesn't pay for itself. This is true. The store pays for it. <laughs> this is why I'm trying to make a documentary. Yeah, so you gotta understand that like, pimp pimping the show is helping. Pimping the store helps the show. Right. And, and to show you all the hard work, what I want to do is build a video, and this is actually the studio right now being recorded from my GoPro camera number one, two, three, four over there, so that I could um, I can make a video of all the stuff we do to make an episode. That sounds fun. I know it's gonna take a while. You want some help with that? Yeah. All right, I'll help you. All right. We should do another drink in a minute. Let's wrap this up. Let's do it. Let's wrap it up. Ozzyreeks.com for all that stuff. EverydayDrinkers.com oh. for all my other stuff. Glass straws now in stock and a whole bunch of them so you can go shop at Col Collins glasses too and your lemon squeezers. And, you know, it's all right everything. there. Let's go to the store check it out. Do it. We're teaching you how to drink. Squeeze it? Do I have to squeeze it? Or do I just put it? push it down so that it stays to the top of the glass. Yes, never end. It's a huge... Yep. Yeah. Look, it's too big. No, no, you squeeze it so that it, it, it... Like this. You squeeze it. No, you're missing.